Income tax 2023-2024. Filing status definitions. Get ready and some coffee because we're looking to get the tax man off our back with income tax preparation 2023-2024. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial-free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Most of this information can be found in the line instructions for Form 1040 Instructions Tax Year 2023, which can be found on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. We've been thinking about filing statuses such as single versus married versus head of household and so on. As we think about filing statuses, we want to consider and visualize what effect those will have on the tax return. The major line items impacted by changes to filing status being the standard deduction and the tax rates. Other changes could, of course, reverberate throughout the tax return. When we look at the standard deduction, we have the changes on the left-hand side of the Form 1040 single filers, 13,850. We can double that for married filing joint, 27,700 head of household in between 20,800. There still could be differences based on age and blindness, for example. We'll talk about them in more detail later. We listed out 